What's up guys, Ryan and Scapes here. So today I've got the video of me adding some, well, some fish. There's actually not much more I want other than these, maybe some ottos or some other catfish to obviously keep it clean. But the main thing I got today was four peppered corridoras and 10 rosy barbs. The reason I got the rosy, uh, rosy barbs is because I just like the color contrast I had against the rocks. Also the corridoras are just really good at shifting things from the bottom up into the water column, which then goes into the filter, which you can clean. So um, I did overhead the, over -egg the pudding on the filter because um, I know that the ants will be dumping mud into the water which will then be eventually it'll just be like an absolute nightmare to clean so I'll roll the footage anyway I hope you like it or the sort of update I won't be adding my ants until a few weeks time um, but that's just so everything gets established the springtails increase the isopods increase all that sort of stuff but anyway much love I'm out and safety first and if you look there you can see they're actually quite small but um the reason being is i wanted to keep that scale um sort of well the same really i wanted to keep that scale the same because if i start to get massive fish these rocks aren't going to look as big so i had to get that scale right with the smaller fish and then uh you know the corries will grow a little bit bigger maybe it's about seven centimeters or something like that but that's over time I did see something there that I really wanted, which was which was a red clawed lobster, but I didn't get it. Reason being is because A would probably grow grow too big for this setup. I mean, it actually probably wouldn't, but either way, I didn't want to risk that. But also at the same time, it'll eat the fish. So um, when it gets bigger, so I didn't want to do that. But I've got the ten rosy rosy barb, really active shoaling fish. I've also got four peppered corridoras, and that bag's at the other side, climatizing. But I'm going to leave them in for another hour or so. And then I'll add a little bit of water from the tank into the bags and um, I'll show you me putting them in anyway. And just so you know, I did run into a problem. Problem being is I filled this up way too much or I started filling it. I say way too much, but I started filling it without realizing that the first vase over this side, I was actually filling that up with water as I was topping it up and didn't realize that I'd filled the first uh, vase up completely full of water. And then check later on and realize that this one had completely filled as well. So I had two vases full of water. Um, luckily, none of the mud seeped out and went into the water column. Um, some did drop out and you can actually see a little bit where it's dropped out there. Now, um, I've turned the filter down slightly just while I had these, but they do like high oxygen levels. So I'll be turning that up. And as soon as that bag's moved anyway, that's what pushes that water right round. All that will shift back up into the column and uh, the filter will take it. But... Uh, the water parameters were perfect and I thought to myself I've had this running now about a week and a half I added aged water in there you've still got those two yellow shrimp I added at first but other than that that's all I've got in here so I thought it's about time I added some fish as you can see these are obviously tiny for the size of the tank um, but ultimately I think after this 10 the four corries I'll only be getting another five to ten um, small things but I don't think I'll be adding those for another few weeks when I add my ants. So I'll add them all at the same time. And then I have to sit there for an hour putting tissue in for it to soak up into the tissue and then taking the tissues out. And I did that for about an hour, just going backwards and forwards, emptying these. And they're now fine. However, this plant did suffer. If you look, these leaves have gone limp. You see that there? Looks absolutely diabolical. So I might have to replace that plant. But either way, I'm going to keep it in now that the soil is going to get less damp. It will start to recover, but it's just whether it'll be able to recover enough. So we'll see. 
but other plants are doing really well. So this one here's got um, obviously new leaves coming out of it. That one there does, that one there does. So they're all actually doing really, really well. And um, again, the mosses, mosses are doing good. You can see that nice vibrant green from those ones there. But no, it's, it's, um, it's looking really good, this. Other than that, my fault. Okay, so um, as well as adding springtails, I also added some isopods and some worms, um, some sort of earthworms. So what I'll do is I'll put them again in each vase like I did the springtails, and then hopefully you know I'll see them pop up here and there, the isopods and things, and hopefully none fall into the water. But hey, that's what it's there for, to stop things from going across. But yeah, we'll see where we go with it. And the next thing is isopods. So I'll add those in now. Sure they'll love it in here. But for now, I've just kept stones there. I found a solution in that. It was the moss wicking it up and in. So what I'm going to be doing is just keeping a small amount of moss away from the sides. You can see it that side, that side's okay. Um, you know, the shadows do cover it, but I will eventually find the happy medium of the water level to where I can put the moss there anyway. But that's the one little thing or mistake I made. Um, I didn't think the fact that it would wick up so much and it did. So all I've done, uh, all I've done, sorry, is just took the moss away from the edges, which was hiding that glass rim a little. Either way, the rocks do, so it's not like you can see it. But you know that area you can there, and just there you can. But um, that's where I've left sort of holes for now, so I can just test the water by putting my finger in there and just testing if the water's gone up, which it hasn't. So I'm doing really well with that for now. So we'll just keep it as is, and then I can eventually cover it up. But well, the rest of the plants are doing awesome. These haven't been waterlogged, so you've got those there, which are growing really well. Pepper, uh, the peperomia is actually stretched out a little bit. These um, little vine things are actually stretching all over the place now. Look awesome. These are starting to get quite high up. Even the um, aquatic plants are doing well. This area is doing really good too. I love that moss. Um, but yeah, these plants are doing good. Uh, these have nearly starting to peak out which i kind of wanted i want one of them to come up or that one to come up as well a little bit but not too high but just keep it at a nice level so they can't just use it to climb onto the glass but either way i'm making the lid just not yet but anyway i hope this like the update let me know what species you want in here as always but peace and love i'm on guys